Black Coffee to Refill, Mark Lamont Hill, That's me. Peppers, Sean King, you're with us. Thank no. you for being with us. Um, we figured that we'd talk about like 21st century social activists and what that means because like we know Martin and Malcolm back in the civil rights movement, there was no Twitter, there was no Instagram, Facebook, but now there's a new form of activism. You have taken the helm of it or people like you as well. So I think we should just have an open discussion about that and what that looks like. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, mean, I think social media gives people an opportunity to speak about it, to type about it, to record themselves talking about an issue that bothers them. The challenge is, back in the day of Martin or Malcolm, there were systems and structures that helped train people, that helped prepare people for what it meant to actually fight for change offline, mm -hmm. off of technology. And so what happens is we, we have a lot of us who care about issues and we speak about them on social media, but we haven't had the experience of the training or the understanding of what it means to fight for change offline. And so right. all of us struggle sometimes to figure out how do I fight for change in a way that actually matters? Right. Because clicking the angry face emoji doesn't necessarily bring See, change. That's what I'm you saying, know? right. Yeah, because right. I mean, I feel like there's this, there's this feeling of in the same way that you have a daily trend, a trending topic that could be Beyonce has a new video out, that it's like the same thing about if a person gets killed, it trends for maybe a week. Mm -hmm. And then in the next week, we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes this issue of feeling like we're not doing enough because we're all, one, desensitized, but also just don't know how to do things. So what do you say to the people who are like, I don't know how to get involved, and I just use hashtags to create awareness? Well... I have, I have a book that comes out next year that talks about, like, how does change actually get made? And the first step to most change is awareness. Mm -hmm. But it's literally just the first step. Right. right. Like, what I've come to understand is that we can be hyper aware of a problem and nothing can be done about exactly. it. Exactly. And, and if awareness won elections, uh, Beto would be in the Senate, Andrew Gillum would be governor, and Stacey Abrams would be governor. Mm -hmm. Literally, studies showed that on social media, all three of them were mentioned two or three hundred percent more than their opponents. Right. Wow. But a tweet is not a vote. You know, if we could tweet our way to victory, we would. Mm -hmm. And so we have to understand that awareness is just step one of a process. I think the main advice that I give people is you can care about a hundred different issues but you can really only effectively change one or two. Right. I mean, you're, you, me, like individually as a person, you only have the time, the emotional capacity to, to really substantively fight for change on a very few issues. Mm -hmm. And what happens is we end up caring about all of these things, but we have to make this emotional choice to say, you know what? So for me, I made that choice. Mm -hmm. So for me... I'm going to change who the district attorneys are across the country. Right. Now, there are a thousand problems with the criminal justice system. I said, you know what? I'm picking this one problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to focus all of my energy on it. And I would advise other people, don't you don't have to make my choice. Right. But whatever the thing is that breaks your heart, that bothers you, make up in your mind, that's my issue. So for my wife, it's children's literacy. So she pours her heart and soul into teaching kids how to read. Well, I would never choose that. So what I have to do is something I saw Mark talk about on social media this morning. What I do is I amplify the experts in other spaces. Mm -hmm. So I care about global warming, but I don't know enough about it to, to fight for it like the experts can right. fight for it. So what I do is I support the experts in other spaces and I hope they reciprocate it and support me in my space. Right. And we create yeah. platforms to allow yeah. that to happen. One of those platforms is the North Star, which we're gonna talk about in a second on the next phase of the refill. Yeah. All right. All right. Can't wait to talk about that. It's gonna be good. Ooh, yeah. Good I'm stuff. Just talk. Yeah. yeah. Like.